Are you looking to start an Etsy business, but you have literally no money to spend or invest in your business? Money is so tight and I get it. Times can be tough for a lot of people, but you still wanna invest in yourself. You still wanna run and create your own business, something that you can be proud of, something that you can create a legacy for your family, your, your children. I get it. It is hard to start a business, especially when you have no money to invest. So today I wanna to give you four Etsy businesses, four Etsy businesses that you can start with zero dollars. Let's go. Everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Glad to have you guys here. I'm LL, your host, your guide uh, through your Etsy and handmade and beyond journey. I'm here to help you guys out. And today I have a great episode for you. I wanna give you four Etsy businesses that you can start for zero dollars. Times are tough, you have no money uh, to invest, but you wanna start a business. You're, you're ready to dive in and start something. I get it, I'm here for you. Here's four businesses that you guys can start today with zero dollars. Now, you're gonna have to invest time to get these started, uh, to uh, learn how to set up listings, set up your shop on Etsy, but these are four niches that you guys can start today with zero dollars. The first one is something that's been talked about a lot the last couple of years, and that is POD, print on demand. It used to be on Etsy you had to design and create everything yourself in-house. They changed it a couple years ago where you could have a production partner to create the stuff for you. You just had to design uh, the graphics, the images, the textures, the style that goes into those creations. And then you can partner with a manufacturing company that would actually uh, create and ship those items out. That is what a POD company does print on demand uh, for long form if you're not familiar. Uh, and there's a bunch of companies that do it now. Then there's some that integrate uh, specifically with Etsy, such as Printful, Printful, um, sorry, I always get these confused. Printful and Printify, two different ones, um, that you can use and integrate with Etsy that will print your stuff. So you can create clothing designs, mugs, stickers, art, hats, home decor, you name it. You can create the designs and then when someone orders it, these other companies will actually make it and even ship it. So it hands off, all you have to do is put the listing up, uh, create the design first, put the listing up, and then cross your fingers and hope it sells. That's where the real work comes in to make sure you're um, taking, having nice pictures, good SEO, all that good stuff. All it will take is your time to create the stuff and put them up, but zero dollar investment to get started with this POD business. All right, number two is digital downloads. This is something, again, zero dollars to start. What I'm talking about when it comes to digital downloads is you're not shipping out a physical product. You're actually sending them a file with the download. So once they purchase the digital download from your Etsy store, they'll get an email with the file which they can download it and do what they want with it. These would be such things as art, uh, planners, journals, Canva templates. If you're not familiar with Canva, uh, it's basically a design website where you can, there's a lot of resources you can design any number of things, you know, YouTube thumbnails, Facebook thumbnails, uh, calendars, all kinds of stuff on there. You can download the link and then you can sell that, uh, the Canva template on Etsy. They'll get the link and then they can go right into Canva, uh, download the file and work and use the file. They can usually take digital downloads to you know the UPS store, Staples, and they can print out art or their calendars or whatever that you're selling them. They can have professional printers print that out for them, but you don't have to do anything. It's completely hands off. You just put the listing up, they buy, and then they'll get the download, they'll get the legal rights to the download to use it. And then you can sell that as many times as you want. So that's another nice thing too, is you can continue to sell it, sell it, sell it. You don't have to keep any inventory. It's all done for you digitally, which is kind of cool. 
Along the same lines, number three is knowledge. You can sell knowledge on Etsy. And what I'm talking about in terms of knowledge is uh, certain, these are also digital downloads, but these would be in the form of books, guides, uh, which these can be physical things too. You can actually print these out on your end and sell them, but that may cost money, but you can sell them digital. You can do how-to courses, uh, different things like that. So you're selling knowledge on something that you know, a skill that you have, some type of knowledge uh, that some other people may want to buy from you. Again, you can do this digitally. You can do it physically. When you add the physical element, it's going to add a cost uh, with shipping and producing the item. But you can, of course, do this digitally and sell your knowledge on the platform. Lots of successful knowledge sellers uh, on Etsy and other platforms. So this is always a good niche to go into as well. The final one, number four, is selling vintage items on Etsy. You can sell non-handmade stuff as long as it's 20 years or older on the platform. So make sure you're being careful that you actually know the year the stuff was made. If you're not sure, don't sell it. You don't want to infringe on the guidelines. Uh, and I get it. You're like, well, I don't have any vintage stuff. So in order to sell stuff, I have to go out and buy it. Yes, there is a cost to that. What I'm talking about is a lot of people have vintage stuff in their house already that they can start a vintage shop, a vintage shop and start selling for $0. At least find a couple of things to sell to get a little bit of a bankroll going and then you go out and source your vintage stuff. Yard sales, flea markets, thrift stores to get more vintage stuff. Again, tons of vintage sellers on Etsy. You can niche down, you can sell, maybe you just sell one particular item, maybe you sell vintage toys, vintage uh, games, vintage clothing. So don't try to sell necessarily everything. I mean, there are successful sellers that do that, um, but you can be a little bit more specific and cater to a specific market as well. Again, I get it. This is something that may require a little bit more money to start, but there's many people that have Tons of old stuff just laying around in their attic, their basement, their grandma's attic, their brother's attic, their sister's attic, that probably would just give it away to them. So start there, build up your bankroll, and then continue to source and grow your shop. So that is it, guys, short and sweet. Those are four businesses that you can start with zero dollars. If you really want to start this Etsy thing, if you really want to start your business, if you're serious about it, you can start it for zero money. I don't want to hear you say, I don't have money, so I can't start my business. These are four uh, niches that you can get into with no money. So print on demand is one, digital downloads is two, knowledge three, vintage four. There you go. Pick one, run with it, open your Etsy shop, start a legacy, start something that you can be proud of, start your own business today. I look forward to seeing what you guys do, what you create. Uh, make sure you give this video a like, a subscribe, a share. I appreciate you guys listening, watching, supporting, and following. I'll be back soon with another uh, good video for you guys. Have an amazing rest of your day.